in the northeastern village in Thailand. A young girl starts her day by doing a live stream videos of her two elephants on TikTok and YouTube to raise money to survive. She has been taking care of elephants since she was in school. It is an insecure source of income for the family, who used to earn money thanks to elephant shows. This new source could barely provide food for her and the two elephants for one day. We love the elephants like they are a member of the family. We've been living with them for so many years. We've been through thick and thin together. Like thousands of elephant owners in Thailand, the Sapmak family had to go back to their home village as the COVID-19 outbreak ruined elephant camps and curbed tourism industry in the country. We're only hoping for tourists to be back. If they come back, we might not be doing these live streams anymore. Some days, we could not sell anything on the live stream. There was no security. If we gotta go back to work, we get a stable income to buy grass for elephants to eat. Without the elephants, we don't know what our future will look like. We have today, thanks to them. According to conservationist groups, elephants eat from 200 to 400 kilograms of grass and fruits each day. Thailand has about 4,000 captive elephants, where around 3,500 are in the wild. At least a thousand elephants in Thailand will stay without income, without a proper income. So there's a job there for the Ministry of uh, Agriculture uh, um, and Livestock to, uh, because that's, they are the ones that take care of the animal welfare of, of captive elephants, of uh, finding some kind of budget to support these, uh, these elephants. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be difficult to keep them alive, I think, for most families. The main market for tourist camps with elephant riding is people from India, Russia, and China. Um, now, of course, Russia is not, oh, sorry, China is not opening up the borders before the end of this year, if they're going to do that. I mean, that's very unclear and I think almost impossible to predict. The families in Bantek Klang have a strong connection with the elephants. The place is considered as the epic center of Thailand's elephant business. However, the current situation required the government support and tourist return to save these giant mammals and their owners.